everybody. This is Mystic Jen. I'm here with your daily read. This is a general read. Cannot, will not resonate with everybody. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Um, the And also the energies are fluid. This could be your energy or somebody else's energy. Or this could be um, like male, female. Genders can be vice versa. Okay, then we're going to take a look and see what messages we have. I'm starting with an oracle as usual. This is from, this is the Moonology cards. Let's see what we have here. Okay, messages and guidance, please. Oh, okay. What do we have here? Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. This is about taking that leap of faith. This is the North Node. This is, you know, in order to progress, in order to move forward, sometimes we have to step out of our comfort zone and really take that chance and try something new. A new approach. Okay, and the Lenormand deck that I'm using today is called the Maybe Lenormand. It's not your typical deck. It is a full 52 card deck, just like playing cards. Every single playing card has a uh, correspondence to it. It has the original 36 cards, and then it has the additional um, like 16 cards. I'm bad with math. Anyhow, I'm using a full deck. Uh, I used this yesterday in a client reading who ordered the full 52 card um, ta grand tableau. And this is the deck I used for the, my big boy, big boy grand tableau reading. Anyhow, let's see what messages and guidance. Let's see what we have to concentrate on here. Okay, see who this message is for. Messages and guidance, please. Okay, the first card out is we have the rod and whip. Okay, so this is a cycle. This is about a cycle that is occurring. Um, cats. Ooh, cats are sneaky. Okay, that's what the cats card is about. It's also about being fickle. They're moody. Okay, so this could be somebody that is in repeat pattern that is fickle. It keeps changing their mind. Sometimes curiosity gets them in trouble. Just saying. Kind of reminds me of the narcissist with these two cards together. They're very argumentative. They're greedy. They're self-serving. So there is a situation here that someone's dealing with someone potentially who is very self-serving, who's very self-centered. Everything is about them. They give you compliments only when it serves them. Okay. It's like, what can I, they don't help you unless it's like, what's in it for me type attitude. Okay. Let's get the underlying energy here. Under the cats, we have the safe. That's the bank account. And then we have the lady on top. So we have a woman here who is in a repeated pattern or either this woman is the one who is very fickle, can't make up her mind. She's caught in this um, cycle of um, this unhealthy cycle that she could be dealing with somebody who is very self-serving. Or she could be the one who is argumentative and very self-serving. It's me, 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 me. All these is what the woman has in control. So it's like that she is, if I didn't know better, I'd say the woman is very self-serving. So you might be dealing with a woman that's self-serving. It's all about the money. This is what she has in control. She puts the weight down on this. Okay. If you're a woman, sorry. Uh, maybe it's not you. Maybe you're dealing with a uh, someone of influence within your family or workplace. 
Um, or the woman is in a cycle of dealing with somebody who's all about themselves and about the cash. Okay, past influences, we have the tower. We have broken mirror. Ooh, somebody's had a little bit of bad luck in corporate America home. Okay. Or this is about the home life. It seems like that there is something has been shattered around the home, leaving somebody single. Okay. So this gets rich here. Repeteer, that's confrontation, that is a battle. Clouds, somebody's very unclear about a situation. And the star, guidance, networking, um, and letters underneath. You know, there's definitely some official documents going on here. Okay. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd almost think that there was somebody, there was a situation, a home situation that got shattered, that got split up here. And somebody is feeling very much, has very much alone. Okay. Um, because it's like everything got broken up. And this, I'm seeing the circle here as a cycle and a cycle. It feels like somebody is going through a period of time where they are alone. They may be lonely, um, but everything seemed to fall apart. Okay, and the safe is towards the past. Somebody may have lost a lot of money as a result of a split or breakup. Okay, and then in the near future, or what the energy that's coming in is the repeteers, which is like a, um, it is a duel. Somebody's battling it out clouds is like you ever hear the saying there's a cl dark cloud over you there's it's like very stormy there's a lot of confusion but the star brings clarity so there whatever the confusion is about this duel or this face-off that you have with another individual the the ambiguity about it there, the star is going to bring clarity. The star is going to bring guidance. And I again, the lady is on top. She is in control. Okay? And it is like she... These two are definitely very much argumentative. Arguments, dueling, um, over money. Because somebody is definitely self-serving. They're out for themselves in it. Um... I almost feel like this is a divorce or some sort of, sort of split that there is a there it, it feels like maybe a court hearing or something that there two people are battling it out. I don't see them do I see a man card here. We do have a male card as far as the home is concerned. Okay. Um There might even be the battle over the house, but it's definitely money is at the root. Okay. And money creates greed. This woman may not always have felt that way. Okay. She may not have always been that way. But money is, do you ever hear that saying? Money is the root of all evil. That's what this feels like. It feels like the money has turned this woman into somebody else. Okay. Um, I feel it's all about survival here. Definitely. Somebody trying to preserve their lifestyle. Okay. Now we'll get into the tarot. I can't remember the name of this deck. Something light. Light is in the name of this deck. If I can remember it, I'll put it in the description box. But it, it's a beautiful deck. It's not exactly the easiest to read. It's not a beginner's deck. Okay. But I connected to it. Unlike my cat tarot, 
I want to connect to It's So Bad, but I will not read for you guys with it until I have. I may never connect to it. Maybe just something for me to look at. Something to be in my collection because I love cats. But anyhow. But just like the cat here, cats can be quiet. Cats are, um, can be moody. That deck might, has a very cat feel. It's like if the cat wants attention, if the cat wants to talk, it'll talk. It hasn't talked to me yet. So, anyhow, let's see what other messages here. We have the Queen of Cups. There's the woman there. She's holding out her cup. A lot of intuitive inspiration here. Uh, she may be a little bit emotional. Kind of fitting. We have the world cycle, cycle, cycle. We have the world card. This is definitely an ending of some sort. And we also have the seven of swords here. Or seven of pentacles, I'm sorry. So this is somebody who's ending a cycle who realizes that the seeds that they have planted did not take root. This is somebody who's been waiting and waiting and being very patient, whose patience has run out. And this, she's, this person's ending this cycle and starting anew and going to pick up those roots and, and plant them someplace else. Hangman, been leaving, left in suspension because still battling this out. And I need to look at things in a new perspective and handle them in a different way. Knight of Wands, change of residence. There's the home. Shattered home. You know, they're... Wow. Somebody's moving. Somebody's changed direction. Um, Queen of Swords. You know, this is some... You know, we have a couple women in this. A couple feminine energies. Um, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's no nonsense. But she's fair. So we have somebody that's trying to be fair in a situation, and we have somebody else that's trying to be greedy. That's what I feel here. We have Libra energy here, um, or it could be any air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Virgo. Um, but somebody needs to take a new perspective and a new approach to the situation to handle this person up here. Okay. Um, I'm saying it's a woman cause that's the, the normal cards are almost quite literal. Okay. Um, but they're battling it out in court and you're not gaining any foot ground. Okay. Somebody needs to take a different approach to things. Uh, I'm feeling there is a need for compromise. But I feel as though, again, the clarity is going to come about. This could also be enlightenment. Somebody's finally coming around instead of sacrificing themselves. Um, or this could be also be about patience. Seven of Pentacles is about having patience also. I, I feel like that there is a need for patience. And step outside your comfort zone. Okay, with handling this situation. And trust in your intuition and listen to the divine guidance that is being sent down to you. Okay, this is what I have for you. I do thank you for watching. I hope this resonates with somebody. And please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. If you like a personal reading, visit my website. It is in the description box below. Love you all. Blessed be.